Welcome back to part two of our Wit Sundays adventure. In case you missed it last week, I flew to the Wit Sundays and I caught up these absolute legends. And we couldn't believe our eyes when we saw this luxury catamaran waiting for us. All thanks to Portland Road Wit Sundays throwing us the keys. And I know what you're thinking. What were they thinking? So join us this week as we each take turns capturing this beautiful yacht. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to follow along our journey as I wrap up my time here in Australia before heading back to the Caribbean, where Brittany and Jackson are waiting to continue our travels up to the BVI's, Puerto Rico, and the Bahamas, baby. It's just such an amazing boat to be sitting on such a big catamaran. I can understand why people buy them now. So I'm such a monohull person. Like I love my monoholes. I love sailing on the monohull. But to be here living on this boat in the week here on the Wit Sundays, whoa, is incredible. It's just, I could definitely get used to this. Check this out. Just another one of a thousand places to sit on this thing. So right now, we got the guys from leading the escapade taking us to Butterfly Bay. Jason and Janae are a young Aussie couple who decide to escape the daily grind to live on a boat. They share their adventures sailing all over the med, documenting all the highs and lows that come with living this nomadic life at sea. So they're in charge of the boat today. Uh, they're the captains. Whoa, there's a bit of wind coming around this point now. The controls are in their hands and it's so hard for me right now being the captain of our own boat on Sunday. It's really hard for me not knowing where we're going, just being a guest on this charter boat and everything's in their hands right now. And I'm not used to this. So in a few days, I think it's gonna be my time to captain the boat and take these guys around. Whoa, shit. I'm enjoying every moment on it right now, just uh, sitting back and having a beer. So this is fantastic. Now, these guys know what's up. They've been sailing around the med for two seasons now, currently making their way out to cross the Atlantic Ocean on their monohull. And this morning, Janae's absolutely smashing it, although she seems just a little bit nervous at the helm of a catamaran. <laughs> I didn't do much. Whoops. I am. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just not used to any of this stuff, so it was a bit sketchy, but anyway. Maybe by the end of the day, I'll be good to go. So every boat handles differently, especially going from a monohull to a catamaran. But once she got the hang of it, it was smooth sailing, and as you can see, we're all having a lot of fun up on the bow. All right, we're doing squats, and we're gonna buy a catamaran. This is so much fun. <laughs> We're currently sailing around Hook Island, the second largest of the 74 islands here in the Wit Sundays. It's pretty much uninhabited, and the only way to get here is by private boat. Now, there's an epic bay south of the island called the Nara Inlet, which is a known breeding ground for reef sharks. But today, we decide to head north to a bay which sounds a little more welcoming. Tell me, Ryan, why is it called Butterfly Bay? All right, guys, I'm telling you this, it's called Butterfly Bay because back in the day when the dragons came from Game of Thrones, whoa! They burned all the butterflies. No, I don't know why. It's got a lot of butterflies. Do you know why it's called Butterfly Bay? I think there was a huge outbreak of cane toads on the island, so they introduced a whole bunch of goats to knock them off, and naturally, it's been called Butterfly Bay ever since. <laughs> there we go. Slim's got it. That's why it's called Butterfly Bay. <laughs> so we're on a charter boat right now, guys. We're gonna anchor real close to the guy up here. Super close. Drag anchor onto him and just crank the music. I'm sure he'll like it. <laughs> Oh, you know yeah, what? Yeah. There is a bit of swell wrapping around here. Maybe you've got a left. All right. Yeah. After a little charter boat etiquette 101 from yours truly, we set our sights on our mooring ball for the night with Jason at the helm, getting ready to show off his mad parking skills. No, I'm up on the roof. <laughs> I'm just having fun up here, staying around. You know, try not to get in the way. Hey, you're doing all right there, trying yeah, to find the, the mooring <laughs> butt. All right. Okay. Wait. Wait. 10 meters, five, five, slow downs. Reverse, two meters, one meter, one meter. Stop it dead. Perfect, neutral. Just put it back a little bit. Yeah. Perfect, neutral, you're done. Look at that, eh? Even when I'm steering you up in the way, you still get it perfect. <laughs> oh, you helped me out in the end, mate. <laughs> At least I'm just teasing you. These guys will still just talking. <laughs> Here we are. Like, oh, shit, five meters, five meters. <laughs> this is how we do it. This is how you sail, guys. <laughs> just like 
I completely forgot we were going for a second until I seen like the look on the face. Oh, we, we have a job that we're actually doing, eh? Oh, yeah, look where we are. Butterfly. Butterfly Bay. Butterfly Bay. Home of the goat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Home of the goats. Home of the goats. Butterfly Bay is located on the northeastern side of Hook Island in the Whit Sundays. It's filled with historical sites and ruins built by the Naro people who once lived on the island for thousands of years, surviving off its rich abundance of marine and wildlife. It's a popular spot for boats visiting the area, offering wicked crystal clear waters, pristine sandy beaches, and epic hiking trails for those who prefer to explore Whoa, on foot. I was gonna say, come on, pull, pull, but you got it. They really uh, stitched me up there, stronger than I thought. Oh, good on you guys, far out. I just walked away. <laughs> All right, now this segment, I like to call YouTubers in the wild. Now look at this young Aussie male, trying to attract a female on the beach. Well done, mate. Now after exploring the beach with these stud muffins, it was time to head back to the boat, just in time for some good old sundowners. Now for those of you who don't know what sundowners are, it's the best part of the day. It's when you kick back, have a beer on the bow over sunset, and talk about the most epic day you just had, cruise around the catamaran in the wit Sundays, just before this good old Aussie barbecue. Yeah, how Aussie's that? So if you guys want to see in more detail what we got up to today, head over to Leading the Escapade on YouTube and check it all out. Good morning, guys. <laughs> so, today's is really exciting. Today is Slim and Soph's day as captain on the ship. Slim and Soph are currently circuit-navigating Australia on their tiny retro monohull. And boy, do they have one epic story to tell. And to top it off, they're both still studying at uni. How's that? I'm not sure what they've got in store for us today but the sun's still rising, the motors are on, and they've just taken us off the mooring ball, and I'm laying here in bed. <laughs> so whatever it is, I know it's something really exciting. So I cannot wait to get up and see what's going on upstairs. <laughs> It was so awesome waking up already on the move. Man, I'm loving this charter life. Oh man. We got that like it's me against you with the morning ball. Good morning, buddy. Good morning, bro. Good morning. Good morning, man. Alright. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. So we're all up now. And it's whoa. And it is a beautiful morning out here. Just left the anchorage from over there. And today our lives are in the hands of these beautiful people. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the other one, hey? Hey? Ball. Hey. I just said our lives are in the hands of you guys. Just look at that little angel face. Who wouldn't want to wake up to that every morning? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And so, I started making coffee with yeah. coffee wine, so. <laughs> so today, they're going to take us on a journey of a lifetime through the Wit Sundays. Now, they've actually been here before, so I'm excited to see where they take us today. Yeah, let's check it out. Welcome to Manoray Bay, guys. Oh, man. So, this place here is so insane. Apparently, the fish come up to you and they want to play, and we've just got here. Hey, what are these fish called? That fish. It's so cool already. George is a little celebrity here. He's like a big grouper or something. He always comes up for a pat and you're allowed to pat him because he's like the only one that loves it. Look at it. Oh, oh he's looking at me. All right, all right, man, I'll come in. I'll come in and say hi. <laughs> Monterey Bay is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful spots in the region. As you can see, the fish are so friendly. I've never experienced anything like that in my life and you really just have to go there to see it for yourself. And remember guys, don't be scared. These guys aren't gonna hurt you. <laughs> He's not friendly. He's definitely not friendly. <laughs> he doesn't want Pat, that one. <laughs>
right guys, Manta Ray Bay is absolutely stunning. It was so beautiful down there. The fish are so friendly. Uh, we had one grouper, I think his name's George, came up and I jumped in and I came up and rubbed himself against me and let me pat him and that, which is really weird to pat a fish, but here we are. <laughs> Highly recommend coming here if you're out on charter, if you're sailing up the coast. I've never met the most friendliest fish in anywhere we've gone halfway around the world so far through Europe and the Caribbean. So this is, uh, this is truly stunning. I actually love this place. And if we uh, were here on our boat on Sunday, I'd probably stay here for weeks. Perfect spot for Jackson too. We've got such a beautiful beach through there. Anyway, let's see what Brittany's up to in the Caribbean. <laughs> you didn't forget about me all the way over here, did you? Jackson and I are still here holding down fort, making sure Sunday stays afloat, while also taking advantage of sitting still for a while, welcoming a few fosters along the way. And although it may have gotten a little hectic from time to time, we've been really enjoying St. Martin. This island is a cruiser's hotspot, especially for provisioning. So lucky for me, I had a few friends pop in to keep me company, while also working on a few fun projects like these sea glass pendants, which thanks to you guys has kept me busy. And on top of all this, I've also been volunteering at the local rescue organization SXM Paws. And our most recent rescue kitten, Bear, who was found abandoned on the beach here at only a few days old, has grown into such a big boy and is starting to give Jackson a run for his money. Cue the most patient dog on the planet. And soon Ryan will be back and we'll be on the move again. So in the meantime, I'm going to continue to soak up the perks of marina life. And we look forward to sharing what's to come as we have some awesome adventures in store back here in the Caribbean. <laughs> this is a dream. It's like you might enjoy doing this as a kid and you'll enjoy doing it as an adult and you'll probably enjoy doing it from a park bench in a wheelchair or something. I might get old, but Feeding fish will never get old. Yeah, yeah. Sailing is such an amazing experience, offering a unique sense of freedom and connection with the natural world. It gives you that incredible sense of adventure, independence, and that special connection that you just can't replicate from any other activity. All right, guys, so we're gonna empty out the toilets here, and uh, this is pretty much how you do it. You go offshore when you're in a rough area like this, where there's no land around. Yeah. Time to get rid of the nasty stuff. <laughs> there goes breakfast. And as a wise man once said, I might get old, but feeding fish will never get old. Yeah, yeah. So now we've got that out of the way, we'll head back to shore to our next destination. <laughs> Things got pretty crazy on the way back, but not before long, we made our way to Whitsunday Island to a wicked spot called Can Beach. All right, I don't know where we're going, but I got a roadie to the top of the hill. But we're going hiking to, um, we're going hiking. Oh. All right, let's do it. We're gonna go to the highest point on Whitsunday's Island. All right, we got our waters and uh, we got our hiking shoes. So we got it all covered here. Yeah, here we go. Preferred hiking shoes in Australia. So just in case the tide comes off or we're away, we don't know how long it's gonna take us. We're really trying to uh, make sure we don't lose this dinghy. So, wish us luck. Little did I know at the time that Slim and Soap had stitched me up hard. Cause we're about to do a famous trail called the Whitsunday Can Track, which is almost 300 meters high and over four kilometers long. Yeah, I like but have you guys ever seen movies such as Mimic, Starship Troopers, The Flight, Anaconda, Snake Island? Oh, mate. Man, I am not going first now. <laughs> you know what? I reckon these spires would pack a pretty good punch, eh? I'm used to like being in the Caribbean and the Mediterranean. I come back to Australia. I've seen more like deadly insects in one hike <laughs> than I have in four years of sailing. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So we'll call this. Which project? Ah, snake, snake, snake! Oh. Where? Hey! Oh yeah, I can see him. Oh. He just slid it off over there oh, into the sea. Oh yeah, I see him. Do you guys have any last words? Help! I think Janae wants to go back. I do. <laughs> I hope this view's worth the. Yeah, yeah guys, we're risking our lives out here for you guys. Four hey, YouTubers on a boat. Don't you might move it and make it run. <laughs> oh, it's got a, I didn't realize. It was I know! Oh, this is hectic. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Honestly, though, it really is an amazing hike. And once you get up top, gazing out at sensational views over the Whitsunday's coastline, you really feel on top of the world. Almost got that on camera. Are you all right? Oh, no, yeah. Did you bust a plugger? Nah, all good.
Oh, sh I definitely feel like. Oh, no. I did bust a plugger. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a long way. There it goes. Blew a plugger. Did you blew a plugger? I blew a plugger, yeah. I've got to jump in here for a sec and just point out the pure Australian gold that is this commentary. Did you bust a plugger? I did bust a plugger. Blew a plugger. Did you blew a plugger? I blew a plugger, yeah. It doesn't get much more Aussie than that. All right, now back to the hike. Oh, that oh, wind is so good. <laughs> like I said, guys, these views are truly sensational and it was definitely worth the effort to get up here. All right, guys. Hey, that was a rookie error in your pocket. Ah, yes. Hey. What a feeling. Just another Cheers, meal. guys. <laughs> oh! 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 Pour it on his head. <laughs> and after some well-deserved beers at the top of the world, it was time to go back down. So... That's a wrap for Slim and Soph's day being captain of the boat, and it's safe to say we all slept like babies that night. Head over to their channel, Sailing Nakama, and check it all out. Oh, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, scenic views up there. I just got to thank all our subscribers. I want to thank all our patrons. You guys are amazing. If it wasn't for you, we really wouldn't have ever got this far on our journey. So thanks to all our patrons. I want to thank uh, Portland Roads Charter Company for giving us this beautiful Lagoon 450 to sail around Whitsunday's here with these three other YouTube channels. We've made some wicked friends and uh, these guys are amazing. Go check them out on YouTube as well, please, guys. We're gonna put all the links in the description. And uh, Brittany, I'm sorry Brittany's not here. I wanna thanks to everyone, to Jackson's Treats, because Brittany's working her butt off right now. She's got about three dogs on the boat and a kitten. Uh, she's doing amazing work at SX and Paws uh, over in St. Martin, more to PDP Marina. Like and subscribe. This is Sailing Sunday out. I'm stuffed. I'm going to bed. I <laughs> love you all, guys. Are you guys ready for more adventure? Hit that subscribe button and join us next week for our final video as we wrap up our time here in the Wit Sundays before heading back to the Caribbean. And it's going to be awesome. So trust me, you don't want to miss out. And if you guys want to experience the Wit Sundays for yourself, Portland Road Sailing Wit Sundays has hooked us up with an awesome discount for you guys. Whether you're looking to kick back and enjoy a holiday with family and friends, celebrate a special occasion, or you guys just want to taste a boat life to find out if this nomadic lifestyle is for you, this 20% off code will save you guys thousands of dollars on this adventure of a lifetime. And as an extra thank you to our amazing patrons, Portland Rose has offered a 25% coupon code, which can be found in our most recent Patreon video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys next week.